Hey guys, this is Mark with Balls Out Ball Pythons. Um, this is what's left of the clown clutch. If you'll notice, we have kinks galore. I think that one is going to have to be um, humanely euthanized. I don't think it's going to be able to use the restroom. The kink so bad back by the cloaca, it's like bent backwards. Um, this one over here is the girl I showed the other day. I'm definitely keeping her. I think she's going to make it. She looks like, and she'll always be a pet here. Um, this one is really bad kinked. I don't think it's going to make it past that area. Um, then there's some more back in here. I'm mainly making this to let everybody know what I think. Um, I think it's, I think it's the I really don't know how to explain it, but I think that's what happened. It's pathogenesis or whatever. I think two eggs got sired by the lesser bee hit, and the other four eggs were just pathogenesis or parthogenesis. I don't know how to even say it. But it's uh, where the, the female reproduces herself, and as far as I know, throws her gene on both alleles, and we all know what happens with super sinnings, and uh, I believe that's a superputer. I have no idea if there's any het clown or clown involved in any of that. I'm pretty sure that's a super cinnamon, which is the only one that's not kinked. And thank God, something in this clutch that wasn't the, you know, the clown stuff. Something that was super. If I can get my, where is my hand? There it is. If I can get my hands on her, she's shy. But she has no kinks. I mean, she's a really nice looking super. She doesn't have duck bill or anything. She's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> She's like, yeah, let me go, man. I mean, let me check real quick because I didn't see that earlier. She might be kinked right behind the neck now that I'm looking at it through the video, but she wasn't before. It didn't look like. I thought I had one that wasn't kinked at all. Let's see here. She keeps favoring her neck like there, right there, though. I don't know. I guess I'll have to keep checking. She just came out of the egg like 10 minutes ago. And I got them cleaned up and ready for the video. I'll back up a little so you can see them all. Maybe she'll crawl forward a little and we can see. Get some light on her. Nope. Okay, well, I'm trying. I don't think that's a kink, but it could be. If it is, then I don't have any that didn't have a kink that weren't clowns. Let's see here. See, even her tail looks good. Where? As my hand. <laughs> there it is. Her tail looks good. Her back just looks like a, a snake. Now that could be. I'm not sure. But, I mean, if it is, I'm not trying to hide it. You can tell. <laughs> I have nothing to hide. This is all straight up what happened. I bred a pewter het uh, clown girl to a lesser bee het clown male. There was no other snakes in the pairings. That, she was a virgin when I started pairing her, and uh, of course now she's a proven breeder. But the super cine stuff, I could have, I could have really done with some more clown stuff instead. But it is what it is. You, you take the good with the bad. You roll with the punches. You move forward. And uh, I'm not going to keep beating myself up over this. This is beautiful. I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, that one's beautiful. They're all beautiful. They just have some kinks. Um, the other ones that were in the clutch were awesome. And I'll be doing updates on them, and I'm only keeping two of these, and the other two are going to have to be um, euthanized. But I just wanted to, I wasn't even going to show those, the two that I was going to have to put down. But I wanted the people to know why I've never done a Cine to Cine pairing for this reason. I was always afraid that something like that would happen. So, <clears throat> if you are planning on it, keep in mind you may have your heart broke. It's better to just mix them in with difference or maybe put black pastel with cinnamon. Those seem, tend to do better overall as far as what I understand. Um, I know people that have done that and made some beautiful snakes and said they will never do it again either. But I probably will try something like a cinnamon hat pie to a pewter pie or something someday. Or maybe a cinnamon pie to pewter pie trying to go for some kind of super form but I think I'm gonna lower the temps of my incubator my, my incubator set at 90 I had no idea I didn't, I didn't breed anything like this I figure maybe lower temps might would have kept it from happening I'm not sure 
Um, there's a lot of people that know a whole lot more than I do and that's why I wanted to make this video mainly for the Bush League Breeders Club so you guys can see and I'll shut up now and just kind of pan around and show you. I have a tendency to ramble on and on. But, I don't know, Super Cine or, yeah, never mind, uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty sure. That one's not real dark, but I don't know if it's possible for two eggs in a clutch to be sired by a male and the other four to have the pathogenesis. I don't know if it's possible for a pathogenist to, th to throw... <laughs> Yeah, I can't even say it. To throw one genes super and then throw both of the genes supers, you know, I, I don't know, man. It's all confusing to me. Anybody that knows about genetics, please, uh, please chime in. I need help to figure this out, even though I think I already know. You know how that goes, though. I don't think they're clowns. I think they're super cinnamons. The head even screams super cinnamon. The body, everything about them screams super cinnamon. And then that's definitely looks like a super pewter. Of course, we can't get the good colors, like uh, the true colors for some reason. There we go. All right, well, this is Mark with Balls Out, Ball Pythons. Not going to keep rambling. So hopefully I'll be able to use that. Uh, somewhere in the future and some future breedings to, to prove out whatever the theories are so Mark the balls out hope everybody else is having some great luck and I hope this doesn't happen to anybody this season ever again actually It's breaking my heart thinking about it. So I'm gonna get off here and do what I got to do and uh, uh, I'm out